Who's y'all giving hit the news of Well, guys, we here in Westbury, New York, baby. That's right. And today we're getting ready. We're prepping to start an NHB 150 Navi border. Guys, this job is a little different. It's a little uh, um, different than the norm. You guys can see we're actually in a crawl space right now, guys. So today, New York border will put it in because, guys, somebody got to do it. So me and my team only put in the borders today. Um, in this particular job, the uh, homework, he provided the border, he provided some parts. We have some parts of our own in case we need it. So guys, oh, also what we're doing a little different here today, also we're putting the, not only the knocking border, the cross space, we are going to have to modify a couple of things as far as the exhaust pipe. It is what it is, guys, since we got to bend the rules. And we're going to put an indirect hot water here, you guys can see right there, it's an HTP. Uh, I believe that's a 30 gallon, 40 gallon. Let's see, it's a 30 gallon in the red hot water here. So guys, listen, season's around the corner, meaning it's gonna be heating season, water season very soon. So guys, we need heat and we need hot water. Stay tuned, baby. Wait, bye.
All right, mi gente. Man, what a long freaking day. Guys, we just finished installing this NHB 150. Now, your boy, you guys can see. I got to say, guys, this job kicked my ass. We're here working as you can see in a crawl space. I mean, we're working like this as a hunchback. It just, it's a pain in the ass. Um, typically, this job don't take that long, but it's an emergency. I don't know how water, I haven't had hot water in a while. We get one in the, uh, a regular uh, hot water, electric hot water as a temporary uh, solution. In the meantime, to buy the side, do a business. And sure enough, the temporary hot water heater, guess what? Gave out. So the water heater gave out. It's a hot day, it's a long day, it's an emergency, just anything that could go wrong went wrong. However, we got the job done. It's about 11.30 at night, guys. I want to show you guys the art piece. I got to be honest with you guys, it's not my best job because we had to work for what we had because the customer provided the porter, he provided the materials, and he had a budget. And this is what it is, guys. So sometimes you got to do what you got to do. This is what the car just dealt us, and we made the best out of it. So, guys, overall, I don't think we did a bad job. We have indirect hot water heater right here. It's some dirty gallon in the red hot water heater. Uh, we do gotta come back, we gotta clean up. I mean, we'll come back tomorrow and clean up. Uh, we do gotta put an expansion tank uh, in cold water, which we haven't put one yet uh, in yet. Uh, what else? Well, we gotta put in a relief valve, because somebody, well, somebody tried piping it in before we got here, and so we couldn't get it done. And I guess they lost the relief valve, so we gotta put the relief valve. There's a few little touches we gotta do. Oh, the neutralizer in the condensate pump, we gotta do that too. But right now, it's been a long day. The main thing is we want to make sure they have hot water. So that was our first part already. So yeah, guys, sometimes this shit's happened. It's Friday night, and it's a long day. And But we got the job done. They got hot water. And so tomorrow, we're going to come back. Well, not uh, tomorrow, if not Monday. I mean, I can't even talk. I'm talking gibberish right now. It's been a long day. But guys, this is what it takes, guys. Sometimes when people say things about, like, you know, especially when they critique you and in social media, uh, yeah, they say, oh, when did you do this? When did you do that? Why are you using black pipe? Why are we using galvanized? Guys, I don't make the choice here sometimes. Sometimes the customer, this is what their budget, what they have, they want to make it work for whatever their reasons. You got to be, if you're in business, you will understand. So that's what it takes, guys. So sometimes you got to bend the rules. I don't make the rules. It is what it is. Listen, as long as we're not, we're just bending them, we're not breaking them, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Uh, I'm not being fat in these flex holes, but it's a temporary thing. Again, guys. It's a temporary thing. Until we come back, we'll take care of it. So, if you have any questions for Louis the Borman, so without further ado, guys, guys, you know what to do. Guys, hit the link below, smash that bell button, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you guys. I'm sure you guys have a lot of shit to say because I'm sh I'm just waiting for you guys to um, say something. However, guys, most importantly, guys, Louis the Borman got the job done. But not even just me, my team. I'm proud of my team. I'm proud of the cameraman behind me. I mean, I'm proud of all of them because. Honestly, I cannot do this without them, and they put in the hard work today, and I got to thank them. So kudos to them. Forget about me. Kudos to them. They're the ones who really are the MVP and the also in my eyes, in my book. So I want to give a big shout out to Carlos, Carlos Tooks, Clemente, Moises, and all the whole team that's behind the scenes that you guys don't see. So guys, until next time, smash that bell, button, leave a comment, and guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's go, because I'm going home, baby. Wet my eye.